DBS community, welcome back to another video here with Kyle Chris, and today we're going to be going over the Android 16 deck that did receive um, pretty good support coming out of the anniversary box. Um, so with Android 16, um, you essentially put all of your 16 cards, they do not have uh, energy exhaust, which is very cool, so you're able to play them in active mode, uh, so you are a blue-green deck, obviously. So this deck has uh, saw a lot of play two, uh, two, two nats ago from uh, Jared Lopez. He kind of put this deck on the map, um, ended up getting second, um, and he, he's, he's done pretty well with the deck. Obviously, the deck has received some nerfs in the form of the Boo Unison being nerfed to one, which definitely hurt this deck a lot. So um, the deck, you uh, on the on the front side, though, um, you uh, pitch a blue or green android to draw two, and you awaken at four life, or if there are five or more total energy between you and your opponent, you are restrained one, draw one, and strike down life down to five. Now on the other side, you do not draw when you attack, which is kind of the downside of the deck is because you kind of need to draw, and the deck just doesn't produce enough hand size without a, a unison being able to draw for it, right? So um, when you pay, uh, so for this side, you though, you do get the combo one multicolor android uh, blue-green from your drop uh, once per turn. So you do kind of get a little bit of combo power there. Um, permanent, you can play the skill cost. You pay the skill cost and activate the arrival blue-green skills of cards in your energy. Um, so that means you get kind of arrival stuff from your energy. So that kind of um, nerfs the fact that you do, don't get the draws. You actually get to play stuff from your energy. And if you play an Android, a blue Android card from your energy, you place the top card of your deck in your um, energy in rest mode. So you can kind of um, build a little bit of energy that way. All right, so we're gonna go into the deck um, so I can show you guys what we have. I believe this is a 50, I think we're at 53 cards. Um, so we needed to keep it pretty close to 50 just for consistency purposes. Uh, this deck is very focused on consistency. Like a lot of decks, obviously you wanna be closer to 50 as much as possible, but you can kind of uh, make room. But this deck being not being able to draw on the front side, I mean, you're gonna be cycling your cards less and we wanna make sure that the cards we want in our energy get into our energy. So. We're going to start off with uh, Speedy Substitution. This is a um, pretty easy turn one play. You search top five. Any blue-green android added to your hand, and at the end of the turn, you can cycle a uh, blue-green card from your energy to your hand, and then put one card from your hand into your energy. So it allows you to fix your hand up a little bit. Um, so then we have our uh, other searcher, Android 18 Measureless Strike. You pitch it from your hand to search top five for any blue-green android that costs five or less, which is going to be a decent chunk of your hand. Also, it also has its skills negated. For energy exhaust, uh, so you can you actually you can also charge this card. Uh, this also is an arrival for um, one blue, one green, one colorless. It's a 25k crit when it's played. Um, you bomb deck one of your opponent's battle cards and randomly bomb deck a card from their hand. This is good, kind of in a pinch uh, on defense, being able to tap three and arrival this from your energy to pop any of your opponent's battle cards that are playing as long uh, attacking as long as they don't have barrier. And just allows you to kind of like get out of jail free card and then also bottom decking a card from their hand. And again, it's just another card you can use to cycle out cards from your deck. Uh, so one card you still want to play is Android, uh, Energy Amplification. Uh, allows you to ramp. You can't play battle cards between 30 and 35k for the, for the game. That's okay. But this allows us to ramp and get extra energy to allow us to awaken earlier. But also more energy means we have more plays available to us, right? Uh, so one of the new cards is a determined joy. Uh, I almost said justice. A determined choice. Um, 20k arrival for one blue blocker. Um, this card also has zero energy co combo cost when it's in your hand. Uh, so this is a free 5k. Activate main. Place one of your energy in the drop. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards four or less and bottom deck it, or choose a unison and take off two markers. So this card's cool. So because our awaken side allows us to generate the energy for free, we can swing with a card. We can basically swing with our leader or a, or a card combo uh, and then play this 16 card off of the combo since we have a blue a blue green card generally in our um in our combo area then uh we can pop that z energy that we played to then gain one of the following effects obviously so we can use it to remove markers off a of unison uh or bottom deck something on board and this is pretty good this is a good card um i like it because it's a 5k free combo so it kind of eliminates the uh limitless engager which was the old 5k for free card you can also play that card as well i don't believe i put it in the deck just for space purposes uh but this is this card is definitely going to be uh, a good replacement to that another good replacement is a determined moment um three cost arrival 25k crit so the same cost as the uh, measureless strike However, when your leader is Android 16, when this card's played, you draw two, 
Switch one of your energy to active mode at the end of the turn. So this is kind of like a replacement for the boo unison. And then activate battle, place one of your energy in the drop, choose up to one of your one of your cards, and it gets 5k for the battle. So it's also kind of a 5k buff as well. Uh, this card is very, very good. So again, you want to put this card in your energy, and then tap three to play this card, being able to draw two, uh, and then restand an energy. So you're kind of basically drawing one for the effect, and then if you twin at your leader, you're drawing again. That's kind of the what it's replacing, right? So this card is your replacement for the boo unison. Um, and it's three energy, so it's a uh, it's a one extra it's a one less en energy for the uh, for the effect, and there's also a sixteen. You can play it from your e from your energy, so this card is really really good. You're gonna play this card on offense. You can play it on defense. Um, it's very good. Uh, I mean, obviously, like playing it at the end, <laughs> playing it on defense is probably not as volatile because you're just going to get the energy back. You want to play this on offense, but it's just an option, I guess. Uh, three stalwart defender. This is the champ card. When you play it, you get to pop something four or less, or you can grab a 16, uh, that costs two or less from the deck. So you can use this to grab out the energy amplification. All right. Four steadfast comeback. This is the old, like big two drop you play in the deck. If this card's played or comboed, um, you, your opponent either discards a card from your hand or you get to grab a, um, Android from your deck and put in your drop. It's not for this deck. You're not going to do that bottom effect. You're generally going to play it. Your opponent's going to um, discard a card. Now you have a 20k dual attacker that also has revenge. And it's a blocker. So uh, just for more defense and just another card you can use for 16 effects. We have two Bionic Blitz. Uh, bottom deck super combo. I only have two because we we run a 2-1-1 a one, one split. Uh, one team up attack and one Zeno edge of space. So the team up attack restands a multicolored blue-green on your opponent's turn. We use this in defensive si in defensive situations if we need an extra energy for some reason and our energy gets tapped down. It's a good card to have. Uh, it's also an Android, so it's searchable off a lot of stuff. And then we have one Zeno, just in case we hit very important cards that we don't want to have in our uh, in our energy or we need to get back, um, like a Bionic Blitz or the Team Up Attack or our Secret Rare, which I'll show you guys in the deck. Being able to grab back any card and then put down a card. Uh, and then all of you these cards here... Um, go down into your energy with no energy exhaust so you're just picking up let's say you use an energy you can pick it up and then um, um, uh, put down an active mode energy and you're still getting effective off of that so it's still good you can also can take out the team up attack and run another Zeno um, but I think the 2-1-1 split is okay you can also do 2-2 two -two split uh, three hit unison and one boon unison so this is gonna be our unison package so um, on turn four you can go into hit or boo if you have it um i think both are viable options obviously boo is kind of the old one you would go you would go in the boo waken uh then you have one energy up you would have a unison on board plus your leader and then you would go you would arrival something gain the energy back uh off of the boo and then have boo ready uh for you know your defensive turn so that's kind of the old way but this is limited to one so we can't do that as much but hit also is a um is a target as well so uh, we draw a card when we play it uh, off the plus one. If we arrival a blue battle card on our opponent's turn, we will gain a marker. So all of these cards are blue. So we, when if we arrival any of these guys, our unison will also gain a marker. And we can minus one to uh, tap two blue to flip our opponent's leader over, which actually is a very good defensive skill. Um, a lot of decks that uh, this deck might lose to, being able to like turn uh, like turn four, like if this if this card's been on board for a turn, uh, we go into turn four. So like turn three, we're probably going to play this card. Uh, turn four, we can um, t minus one and then just tap two blue and then uh, stop our opponent from being able to do anything if they're already awoken. Uh, this is a very good card. Um, it's going to, I think, have a lot of effectiveness. Um, um, it's still in this next format. Uh, but in this deck, you kind of need a unison that's going to draw you cards. So this is definitely your best option here. Uh, you also can play the baby unison or the tapion unison. Both of those are essentially like plus two draw ones. Um, so those are also good options as well. Uh, I just like hit because of the defensive prowess with the minus one. I think that's very good, a very good tool to have. And also being able to play it on turn three. And um, so you play it on turn three for two and then you can uh, awaken to then get another energy back. So now you have two energy available for your plays. Uh, four defending friends. 
it's a, it's 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 an android um but also um it's gonna be live i would say very early on in the game because we're gonna be able to build the energy so easily with our awakened side uh two peel off shoe and my this is one of the only non-android cards in the deck out excluding like this card and then some of the other cards in here uh you draw the card off of it and then you can also use it to remove key, uh, keyword skills um and you can use it to um pop the first first card your opponent combos with so on defense this, this card is going to stop at least one combo piece unless they remove this card during the uh, the uh, battle step uh two fuse the masus uh, we can pop any of our five cost ba battle cards to go into this guy and then uh whenever it swings it you make your opponent discard a card so in this deck we only have one target which is going to be the um stalwart uh defender however it's a total of five so we can use a, a determined choice and one of these one drops, including the Android 18 speedy substitution. So you can also use that as well, but it's going to be probably better off of this, off of this guy here. You can play this guy, pop something, go into Fuse Zamasu and then swing with Fuse Zamasu. And then this card will allow us to combo a card. So we can also combo this guy off of it and then to go into our Z energy. And now we have our Z energy filled for other stuff. So uh, four Sensu Beans, um, I think you have to run it. Uh, we need it for the defensive pressure uh, to be in our leader and then also being able to go into all of our different plays. For D Magic, this is again just kind of normal stuff you're going to do in most blue decks. Uh, one Beast Gohan. So I do not run the Android 21 Secret Rare. I think if you run Android 21 Secret Rare, you have to run the four cost arrival Android 16 Steadfast, uh, Steadfast Ally. I think is what it's called. Um, which then grabs a uh, four cost um, Android 21 from the deck. You can't grab the you can can't grab the secret rare because the secret rare costs eight in deck. But then you can play it from your hand. Um, it's 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 okay. It's 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 cheeky, but like this is just a better card. Um, and you also can use this to pressure and then being able to restand energy as well for your rival pieces is very is very very good. Zeno is kind of one of the reasons why we run. <laughs> um, why we run this card is because if we hit it off of uh, off of our um, our leader effect or off of our ramp effect for 16, we want to be able to use Zeno to grab it back. So this is why you can potentially go up to two Zenos if you so choose. The last card in the deck is going to be Gamma 1, Power Unleashed. So this is a cool card. So it's, I don't think anyone's going to be playing this card in the deck uh, unless they see this video and they think it's a good tech. I, I think this is a really cool, interesting tech for the deck. So uh, it's a unique four drop or four cost one drop. When this card is played from hand, draw one, right? That's the biggest thing. It's just a draw one. However, if our leader is a blue android, we can play this card, form our energy for one blue, right? So this has some impl implications with the leader. So we can use this to play it from our our hand, um, our um, our energy, right? This then will, if when we play a blue energy from a blue android from our energy, we ramp a card. So this card will allow us to kind of fix our energy a little bit. We can put a hopefully a blue green card into our energy. And then if our if no player's uh, leader with uh, with his front side facing up, your opponent has three more energy. This card gains 16k in crit until the end of your opponent's next turn. So this is a 20k crit uh, with our leader combo can be a 30k crit. Um, and uh, this is if neither player's front side is facing up. So this means that both players have to be awoken, uh, which is fine. Um, that's probably going to happen in most most cases. Uh, but also this is just another one drop cantrip right like we can we can we can cantrip into this card we can combo it off if we so choose uh but it's just another 5k combo and i think that's some something to think about in this deck because a lot of your deck is 10ks you get one free 10k from the drop area per turn but we want to make sure we're able to use this you know use other cards to combo out it's also an android so it's searchable i think this is a very interesting piece of tech for this deck um, I've never seen it utilized. Um, I used to play this in the, actually the deck I would have played for Nats, uh, my Android 21 list, I actually played this card in and I wish I would have played that deck. That, that was a really cool deck. Uh, that was the field spell Android 21 deck. So, um, yeah, this, like I said, again, this card being a crit, I think is good if you pair this with the bionic blitz with fuse and Masu's on board. Also with your leader effect, being able to combo this card is actually pretty devastating um and can do a lot and also just being able to play itself from the energy i think is very good considering this deck doesn't really if you don't have a unison on board you're not keeping a big hand size uh so just another thing you can play from the energy is good um then we have um the z deck which i did not include for some reason um i thought i had the z deck actually on here so we'll actually just build the z deck here for you guys which i think is pretty it's uh it's gonna be pretty easy to do so 
Um, we're going to do, let's see, let's look through here real quick. Um, kind of funny it wasn't, wasn't actually on here. So I'd probably say one Frieza for now. Frieza's good, pops a five or less. And then if we swing with a green battle card, which all of our battle cards are green, except for like one or two, uh, we discard an, a Z energy, which we build very quickly and our opponent drops the card. So I think it's probably good. Probably keep at least one of those. Um, let's see. What else can we play? Probably one cell, just for board clearing. I think that's good. One in the name of hunger, probably good as well. Um, I want to also play, where is it at? Um, let's see, get this guy. Dr. Juro. So we can bottom deck a green card, which all of our cards are blue green mostly. Uh, but this allows us to establish a, um, this allows us to establish a Z battle card that we can use for, I'll show, oh yeah, we'll grab that card. So this allows us to establish a Z battle card. So then our Android 17 is on, is, is live earlier, right? So that's good. So that, that gives us kind of a, like a little built in floodgate there. Um, and then the last three. So I definitely think Jiren is a good one to play just in case you're playing against unisons. You can use it to remove unisons. Um, but then I think the Z extra card is probably a good one to play. Um, they should have it on here. Yeah, where's it at? I thought they had a blue one. Yeah, yeah, Black Kamehameha. All right, yeah, so we have Black Kamehameha here, so you can pitch a card, um, pitch a Z energy, and you choose one of your cards, and it gets 10K, and then you can bottom deck a two or less, so it's kind of like like um, beer's choice. Um, and then tap one blue, discard three Z energy, Draw one, play a shadow token, and then it gains blocker. Then also one of your card gets 15k for the battle. So this card also works kind of like a uh, like a really cool negate. Um, you can use it to to gain 15k, and then you draw a card, and you also play a blocker, which then will be able to block your next attack. So I think it's pro probably the best there. All right, so that is the deck. Um, if I had these cards, I would probably play this deck, give it a shot. I don't own Gohan. <laughs> I think Gohan's the biggest one I don't own. I think I own the rest of this deck, just not Gohan. So, but this is a cool deck. Um, in like the grand scheme of things, with like blue green, um, what this deck does well is a lot of combo area stuff, right? Like being able to go into the combo, in, into the combo step and do things um, is not many decks do that. I think it's basically Android Twenty One. Um, and that's kind of the downside to this deck, right? Is that Android 21 or Expert Deck 21 exists. So that deck kind of does what this deck does, but better. So this deck has to, is kind of more of an aggressive version of that deck. Cause this deck's not going to be using as much hand destruction. Um, unless you're like able to go into the Fuse of Masu stuff. So, uh, it would be interesting to see played. I, I, th I definitely think people could give this a shot and I think it would do well. Um, against like 21 and things of that nature, like, you know, you're, you're going to struggle a little bit, of course. Um, but that's just kind of the way of the world, really. Um, so against, like, 21, you probably would struggle against, like, maybe Golden Frieza and things. You might struggle a little bit, too. But I would, I would be interested to see people play it. Um, I know there's a guy at my locals um, who plays this deck. He might play this deck. I know he said he wasn't too big on the, on the support being that good. But we'll see. Um, definitely give it a shot if you have the cards. I think it's a cool alternative to blue-green. Um, if you don't want to just play the boring 21 matchup, um, or at least the set 21 deck. I think expert deck 21 is a f very, very fantastic deck. Um, a lot of skill intensive. I don't think other 21 is, I think it's just a kind of a stall deck. So it's just not, I don't, I don't think it's very good. Um, but that is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, like, and subscribe. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, uh, the, the content on the channel. Um, at some point, I don't know if I'll post a, a community post about this, but at some point, um, once I finish all the videos for, for the anniversary box, uh, my content will probably stop for at least a little bit. I'm doing a lot of uh, rebranding re when it comes to like how the videos are going to look, like my intro, uh, logo stuff, as well as the backgrounds and how the the actual like overlays are going to look. So I'm gonna probably spend a little bit of time on actually getting that done. And with my newborn, I kind of have to choose one. I can either can make the videos or I can work on making the videos better. So we'll probably work on making the videos better. 
Uh, my goal will be to try to get at least all of that done before set six gets revealed. I think that's the goal. So I might still be, be able to put some gameplay videos out, uh, but you probably won't see too much deck, deck profile videos, at least until I can get that stuff done. Uh, we're probably about 25% of the way done with the uh, with the channel re um, like over overhauling. So uh, I want to get everything ready for when Fusion World comes out. Because with when the, uh, the digital client coming out, and especially with the beta coming out later this year, um, we'll be getting into streaming, which would be nice. So I want to be able to get that stuff on the channel for you guys too. So thank you guys again for supporting the channel as always. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.